chat, did you ever go through like um like a phase where Christmas music maybe you're still in the phase, but Christmas music and Christmas me Christmas me music <laughs> music um actually like angers you. And I'll tell you what, I, I went through that phase because when I worked at a toy store, Bruce Springsteen was on the radio. Merry Christmas! I am constipated! And that was probably the beginning of my, like, villain arc. Because I was hearing so much Christmas music just over and over and over again on a two-hour loop. So, that said, though, there's some Christmas music I like. It's not a lot. There's just a couple. But Bruce Springsteen... I was gonna say Bruce Willis. We don't want to talk about Bruce Willis's music. Because Bruce Willis had a music career, but that's a different story. I mean, Eddie Murphy had a music career, too. Um, you've heard Party all the time, I'm sure. But Bruce Willis tried to break into the music industry as well. Uh, maybe just a touch under Bruce Springsteen. When will the clown be removed? Well, when we hit 3,670 viewers, the clown will be removed. I'll wait. Yeah, I'll, I'll just wait. Talk about Steven Seagal and his music career? No, we don't want to talk about his music career. We don't want to talk about Steven Seagal. Okay, maybe you do. I don't. Okay, listen, I want to talk about Steven Seagal. Did you ever see that embarrassing video of him, like, trying to shoot a gun in a movie? And, like, he's just ready to sit back down? Or how about when he's doing the moves on the people that are clearly paid to go down? Not like sex. I mean, like, like to, like he barely touches them and they just fall to the ground. It's like watching a movie. He's the best at everything he does, according... To him, at least. Steven Seagal is a superhuman. A mensch. Steven Seagal could have stopped Hitler. Single-handedly. It's true. Why didn't he? Vinny just destroyed chat. Well, no. Um, yeah, I, I guess... Uh, I hate to say it, chat, but... The Hitler thing, because of the fucking game with the diarrhea, I was so caught off guard because of that game. I, I can't stop thinking about that stupid game. You don't know about the game I played? Oh god, I started up a game on Sunday called like Poop Shit Diarrhea Game or whatever. I thought it would be like a funny Sunday thing. And it starts with you being a jiggly ass and you have to assassinate Hitler. And then Steam is recommending all these fucking Hitler games. So I, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but I like, I'd like to apologize, you know, but you know, I, I for one would like to just say, I, I'm glad Hitler is dead. Cause the more I learn about that guy, the less I like him. And then everybody clapped. Thank you, chat. Thank you very much. So. This is a brave way to start a stream, and uh, I'm going to let AI Vinny take over. Merry Christmas. This game is going to be a real trip, so buckle up and get ready for some serious nostalgia. Man, this game is so weird. I can't believe they made it back in the 90s, but you know what? I'm really enjoying it. The controls are a bit clunky, but I'm starting to get the hang of it. All right, Kays. Game is getting pretty intense. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it much longer. 